Hey guys, welcome back to another Mix Tricks. This is Ryan. Today I have something special for you. We're in Woodshed Studios in Oak Park, Michigan. Fantastic Oak Park, that is. And uh, we're here with Eddie Surtage, the owner, operator, mix mastering, <laughs> recording engineer. Uh, and uh, he's going to show you today some percussion recording basics. Eddie, thanks for being here, man. Hey, thanks for having Appreciate me. Appreciate it. Let's get going. Hey, this is Ed with uh, Woodshed Studios. We're here today with Ryan, doing a little percussion on some uh, tracks we were working on. And uh, one of the things I like to do with uh, percussion is I usually go for a cardioid condenser mic. Today I chose the AKG 214, and I'm running that through an API preamp, which uh, I like the way the two interact. And usually when we do it, like we're recording tambourine, I kind of have the uh, percussionist just stand about I don't know, about a foot away, 18 inches away. That way I kind of get a whole picture of the, you know, the entire percussion instrument that we're using. And I can also then, if we want to switch and do shaker, he's still in the right position for that. So I just kind of have him hold it at the mic. I don't want the percussionist really to think about, you know, where he's got to be and whatnot. So, you know, picking like a large diaphragm cardioid condenser like the 214 is perfect fit for this type of session. Okay, so now that we've recorded it, I got just the track up here solo so we can kind of hear what's going on with it. I'm doing no EQ on this or compression or anything. This is just straight in from the API right into Logic Pro and uh, I'm sending a little bit of reverb to the Waves R-verb which is one of my favorites. Are you paralleling that or are you yes. is that right on? Yep. The, okay. it's, yep, it's a, a send, it's a bus send. Okay. So yeah, it's paralleled in that, on that. Um, I'm using the guitar plate preset that I probably did a little bit of tweaking to and I'm using that to kind of create like a room reverb type thing. I have multiple instruments getting bust to that, but you know, for intensive purposes, we're just talking about the tambourine right now. So I just wanted to show that, hey, I just fold that into the room verb that I create, which I do that to kind of glue everything together. Can we hear it with the drum track only, the tambourine? Sure. I just fold that in there we just kind of want to tuck it nicely in almost between like probably about the same volume as the snare maybe a little louder at times mm -hmm. but it's kind of sitting right there with the snare and kind of like when we go into these uh, choruses it kind of sits in between with, with the ride it's kind of mixing in there in a nice way I mean, the intention was to sound really musical, to not jump out at people, and just kind of fill in and add, it almost adds like a stereo effect to that ride, and kind of blends things in real nice. Mm -hmm. Sounds great. Awesome, man. Thanks Perfect. again. Appreciate it. Thank you.